<laughs> Hello everyone. Hope you all had a great Monday. As for me, it was pretty fun. Got a lot of done and uh, not too bad of a day overall. But being Monday means spooky places. And this week we shall visit two interesting places. The first is a stop at the Henna House. 3801 Madison Avenue, Indianapolis, Indiana. The Hanna House was built in 1858 by Alexander M. Hanna in Indianapolis, Indiana. Hanna was apparently a man of many talents because of his lifetime. He served as sheriff, circuit clerk, and state legislator, as well as other positions at various times. Both he and his wife were staunch abolitionists, and they had a secret room in their basement in which they hid slaves. Hannah died in 1895, and the Hannah house was bought by a jeweler, but the strange events didn't start happening until 1967, after the house had been vacant, for reasons could not find. For about five or six years, it laid vacant. One of the most per per uh, one of the most uh, proliferant uh, characteristics of Hannah House is one of the strong and disgusting odors. There is a strong stench of rotting flesh from a second floor bedroom. And there is a smell of burning flesh coming from the basement. Psychics have said that the smell in the upstairs bedroom is from a stillborn baby whose birth had to be induced when it started to petrify in Elizabeth Hannah's womb. A couple that ran an antique store out of Hannah House from 1968 to 1973, uh, 78 said they tried everything from scrubbing the floor with carbolic acid to repainting, but the rotten smell persisted. The smell of burning flesh supposedly stems from something that has not been ascertained as fact, but hasn't been debunked either. Reportedly a lantern tipped over in the basement where slaves were hiding and many were killed in the fire that ensued. The slaves were buried in crude coffins in the basement's dirt floors. Hannah House is also host to a number of classic haunts. There are cold spots that move, apparitions of a man in black coat have been reported, and the ghost of an unidentified woman has been seen on the second floor window. A TV crew visiting Hannah House experienced chandeliers and picture frames that moved unaccountably and sounds of unknown origin. <laughs> we now move on to the Mount Vista Hotel, 100 North San Francisco Street, Flagstaff, Arizona. Sometime in the 1920s, two men decided that they wanted to make some cash in less than honest fashion. They chose a bank next to Mount Vista Hotel in Flagstaff, Arizona as the target for their heist. Before the holdup, the two men made one a, another a promise to have a drink together in the hotel bar when the robbery was complete. Their schemes did not go as well as planned and one of the men ended up being shot by a guard. Remembering his promise, the dying man dragged himself into the bar and had a last drink with his friend before he expiring on the premises. The ghost that now supposedly haunts the Mount Vista Hotel, as a matter of fact, past owner Johnny Johnson felt that it was the disembodied voice of the would-be robber that greeted him with an eerie hello or good morning each day. It's hard to tell though since the hotel had a real rough and tumble western past. The supposed gunman is not the only spirit lingering about. People claim to have seen a transparent bellboy who knocks on doors and disappears. A woman who was murdered in her room on the second floor is believed to still be around in some fashion. No one has ever claimed to see her, but dogs brought anywhere near the room go crazy and tear things up. Room 305 is considered considering to be one of the most active rooms in the hotel. There is a rocking chair in the room that insists on staying in the same place by the window. No matter where the staff puts it, the next morning it will be in its old place. 
outside the Zane Gray Suite. <clears throat> the rooms are named after celebrities who have stayed in them. The apparition of a woman has been seen. A fan of man is known to clear his throat in another room. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed these tales and wishing you all a spooky night. Ha, 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 ha.